Okay, so let's talk about Faux Aurora Tea Garden, or as Dara from Dear Hallmark says, Aurora Pre Garden. Um, actually, first, let's talk about um, probiotic soda. Do we think this is legit or is this like wellness mumbo jumbo? <laughs> This is not sponsored. This was a gift from a friend in a um, surgery care package. Uh, but I'm just wondering what we think about it. It's tasty, but is it actually doing anything? That's my question. Okay, so let's talk about Aurora Pre-Garden. Now, now I can't stop saying Pre-Garden. Let's talk about Aurora Tea Garden something new. Um, I liked this something new. I thought it was really fun. I thought all of the new actors were fantastic. Uh, Skylar makes a great Aurora, I thought. Uh, just her plucky attitude and her um, like no filter, like she'll just ask the question. Uh, it made me laugh when they were at the party and the guy comes in yelling at um, Matt and then he's like, and I was like, I don't know that guy, I've never seen him before in my life. And she's like, that doesn't make any sense. We're like, thank you, that's what we're all thinking. Um, and she just says it. So I thought she was great, Skylar is adorable. And Evan, um, love Evan. I first saw Evan on the show Spinning Out on Netflix thought he was amazing. It's definitely not a Hallmark show, uh, but I loved him in that and I am super happy to see him doing some stuff on Hallmark now. I thought he was great as Arthur. He is obviously smitten with Aurora, like Arthur is in love. <laughs> so uh, this is really making me hope that this morphs into a reboot instead of a true prequel because Man, if Evan's gonna play Arthur like that, like him and Aurora need to end up together. And if you've seen the originals, you know that they don't. Um, that they did date for a while, but it just didn't work out. So <sighs> fingers crossed this becomes a reboot because I mean, blame Skylar and Evan for acting <laughs> that so well um, and that now we just have to see them together. Uh, and I think I think there's room for like two different Aurora storylines in the Hallmark universe. I mean, we're cool with all the multiverse Marvel worlds, right? So I think Hallmark is just like Marvel, just like it. So, and it's fun that we get Steve Basic in this movie too. Uh, just call me a Basic B because <laughs> I love him. Uh, he was in a Hallmark movie a while back. I cannot, I'm blanking on the name. Um, but he's like an ex Navy SEAL. Um, anyways, that's real, real good. If you think you don't like Steve Basic, go watch that movie <laughs> and get back to me. And then we have Kayla as Sally and I feel a little bad for Kayla. I thought her acting was fine. Um, but this Sally is real different from the Sally we know and love. And that's not Kayla's fault. Like, I just feel like Every scene we got of Kayla was just the same scene. Like, surprise, your fiance did something bad. Um, and so just the whole time she's just stressed and unsure and I don't know, we just didn't give her a lot of options as far as showing us an acting range or a character range in this movie. So I'm hoping we get another movie uh, so we can see how she becomes the Sally in the future that we know and love. Uh, same with Mary Lou Henner. I know some people were annoyed that she was not recast since this is 15 years earlier and everyone else is recast. Uh, but I feel like the older you are, the more it works out just fine if you do a prequel. Uh, plus, like guys, Mary Lou has not aged. <laughs> at all in like 20 years. So I need to know her skincare routine. Um, and yeah, it did not bother me at all that she was still in this prequel as herself. Uh, I actually loved her character in this because I know some people hated it because it was just, she was so different, but this is 15 years earlier 
and she's just not that confident Aida that we get in the other movies. So I actually enjoyed this flashback to her like newly divorced, trying to figure out, actually I don't know how newly the divorce was, but you know, she's divorced now, um, her kid is out of the house, well, back in the house, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and she's just kind of figuring out this next portion of her life and she's just getting into real estate and you know, she's not that confident go-getter, put together Aida that we know. So I'm excited to see her get to that part of the character. So I do hope we get some more of these movies so we can see that progression for everybody. And speaking of Aida, uh, I just read, well, I listened to the first two books in this series and I have two things to say. <laughs> One is that the book narrator says Ada and I swear Hallmark pronounces it Aida. So I don't know if that's a Canadian pronunciation of that name or if their narrator was wrong or what. I mean, I know the author is involved in these movies, so I feel like she would have corrected it if they were wrong, but wouldn't she have corrected the narrator if the narrator was wrong? So like, I need some continuity. I need Charlene Harris to say <laughs> this name for me and how she wants it pronounced. Also, uh, I discovered that Ro, um, the nickname for Aurora in the books is spelled R-O-E and all that makes me think of is fish eggs and I really need to know why it's not just R-O because if you take it from the name, it's just R-O. Uh, these are the dumb little things that my brain fixates on. So if your brain is like that too, let me know in the comments so I know I'm not alone. As far as the mystery goes, it was fine. I I didn't love it um, for no particular reason. It just, I didn't feel very invested in it. Uh, we barely know Matt, so like, why do I care if he might be a murderer? Um, it all kind of came together at the end. I understood what happened, which is not always the case. <laughs> um, and at a certain point I did, I was pretty sure who the murderer was, but I didn't know exactly what their motivation was. Um, but I, I mean, I was just in it for the characters and the relationships and seeing younger versions of um, the people that we're used to. So should you watch this? Um, I would say yes. If you like the cozy mysteries, if you were a fan of the original, um, yeah, give it a shot. It's going to be different. It's going to have a different vibe. Um, the characters are not the characters that we know yet. Uh, so if you can just go with that, <laughs> um, then yeah, give it a shot. I think you might like it. And I do hope we get some more. Um, I hope they would have locked Skylar and Evan and everybody in somehow <laughs> to be like, look, there's potentially going to be a lot of these. So if you sign on, you sign on. Um, I don't know how the industry works, so maybe it's a one and done for everybody, but we'll see. I do want more, uh, cause I do want to see Arthur and Aurora end up together because that has to happen. <laughs> uh, Skylar and Evan just sold it too well. Their chemistry was great. Um, and I want to see Sally, um, and Aida become the characters that we know. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed it. I had fun. It um, was a good time. So now we need to decide what Arthur and Aurora's couple name is going to be. Like what hashtag are we going to uh, be using? Um, their names are very similar. So are we thinking like Arthora or Aurora, um, yeah, I don't know. What are we, what are we doing? Um, drop your suggestions below and uh, go watch this movie. If you haven't seen it already, um, let me know what you thought. If you liked it, were you a fan of the original? Um, does that mean you hated this one or did you enjoy it? 
so let me know what you thought because I love chatting and hearing all the different opinions um, even if they disagree with mine which is usually a more fun conversation so uh, let me know what you thought and come back next time where we will be talking more June wedding movies for better or worse <laughs> Okay, let's talk about Faurora. Oh, I just kicked the camera. Shoot.